Hello, sweet tooth. Come on, Gober, jump. Mm, what is it, Our amazing <gasps> cinematics. They're still not terrible by today's standards. If you ever want to see your sissy little froggy again, you gotta play my game. Didn't. <laughs> Look at those beautiful cinematics. That car looks so good. This is what the game should look like. Tournament with Sweet Tooth. Can you guys hear the game all right? Oh, look at that beautiful Sweet Tooth design. Alright, Warrior can hear it okay. There we go, yeah. I think one video, I'm gonna take the old Maya file of this and restore it on stream. Remap all the textures, maybe even up res it. <laughs> that might be a fun, a fun small brawl, uh, refurbishing video. Let's see. Slam, you are the most dangerous. You're gonna go down first. Mm, that was a twofer, I missed that. I could have gotten both of them. So, for anybody who doesn't play Small Brawl regularly, Sweet Tooth Special will. It'll hit a target, go off, bounce, and then retarget on bounce. And sometimes it can you can get a bunch of them going in the environment and hit somebody several times. And that was to make it easier for the kids playing the game. So if they missed with a skill shot, eventually the ice cream would hit somebody. Well, I'll take that. And then let's see, I'll make the duck poop again. Mm -hmm. Oh! Not gonna, there we go. Pooped out another health for me. Thank you, Mr. Duck. Hiding batteries in your secret compartment for me. Alright, there's the miss. Is it gonna retarget? Yep, it's gonna retarget Twister. Boom! Very nice. Actually got two hits on him, so it's gonna be four hits here. Ooh, five hits on Twister with the ice cream. I made this special very powerful. And now it's gonna go after another target on bounce. Looks like it's going after Slam for some reason. I think it killed Slam. All right. Do this. Need more weapons. Twister's such a pain. Get him. Boom. That'll get him. Yep. It's so good. It's such a good special. And it gave me a health, too, on top of it. No, I don't need to save. No. I'm not going to die. This is a deathless run here. Do, 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 do. 
<laughs> Why must have forgotten about the stream today? <laughs> Like I say, uh, V8 Warrior, you guys don't have to be here every time. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to expect you guys here every time. Ooh, this is going to be a good hit. It's going to get lots of people. Oh, they're fighting each other. Cool. Get away. I wonder if the buzzsaw killed the uh, ice cream. It didn't about come back. That would be an unknown thing even to me. Ah. Give me more weapons. I need way more weapons. Double hit with the brutal sweet tooth special. Mm, I am out of weapons. No, am I out of weapons? No, not yet. Let's get out of here. Go through the secret door. In the original design, you're supposed to see a clown in that mirror now and then. It was going to be the growing up sweet tooth. That was beyond the PS1 <laughs> capabilities. <laughs> oh, hold on. Did I put it on? Yeah. So there's a function in here in, uh, in options where you can turn on... On the radar, you can see the weapons. Which is pretty cool as far as being able to dodge stuff. But you can also use the set of traps if you're very smart about it. Like, I'm going to drop, watch my radar. I'm going to drop a remote bomb there, and you can see the little red dot flashing. I can wait until I see their dots on top of that dot, and then I can use it, and I get a guaranteed hit. Yeah, PlayStation was ancient at this point. That's uh, what they wanted, man. I get the logic behind it, but boy, did it, uh, it wasn't great. It wasn't great making a game for PlayStation 1 that late. So I got, got Dark Side. Shit. Shit. Nothing for you, dude. Let's see. Let's see if I can get both of these guys. Where's my ice cream? It's coming back. Get him. Boom. Oh, it hit Twister twice. That was brutal. Oh, could you imagine this for Dreamcast if we had that opportunity? I mean, there's no way Sony was going to let us make a game for Dreamcast in a million years. <laughs> like that, that wasn't going to happen. Not back then, anyways. Come on, get, get slam. My special won't do crap here. If he's up on that ramp. He's dead. He's dead. I mean, I get it. Sony wants stuff on their hardware. They want exclusives. That's, that's the way they always ran. That was one of the advantages of working on V8 is because Activision didn't care about uh, console. We could put it on any console we wanted to. Whereas making this game for Sony, they wanted us to only PlayStation. I couldn't imagine what the original Twisted Metal would have done number-wise if they were able to, to go to multiple um, consoles. They would have sold probably even way more. Come on! That was easy. 
sweet tooth, you're godly. You're godly in this. And I was going to make this special freeze people on hit too. <laughs> As part of the special. That thing would have just been the best special ever. Um, it helps move the console. It hurts the sale of the game. Because most people back then would only buy one or the other unless you're rich. So if you happen to buy Xbox or Dreamcast, you're probably not going to be buying a PlayStation anytime soon, which means you're not going to buy the, the game that, that's exclusive for it. Uh, yeah, I'm laughing to death. Um, so if you notice in this, I put three levels of freeze in this to kind of give you feedback as to how soon you're going to get out. And if you jump using the jump commands, you get out of it sooner. And the final freeze doesn't last very long. And that's what, that's what I was going to do with it was just if it hits, it gives you the, the last and weakest step of the freeze on hit. Let's go over here because I like using this. Everybody likes using the, the oven trap. Come on. Come on. No one's biting. Get in there! <laughs> yeah, it does have that army man feel to it, doesn't it? Oh, I do have a remote bomb. So I'm going to show you the best way... The absolute best way to, to do the easy death, uh, easy death oven here. Oh, get off of me, dark side. We're gonna go like this. If you do this, it guarantees to knock him in. And causes extra damage at, at the same time. <laughs> Oh, that's so satisfying. I love it. <laughs> He's just like, I'm out of here. I'm going to jump off the counter now. <laughs> oh, oh no! What have you done? Shadow, what have you done? <laughs> you fool! All right, let's, let's, uh, let's use this to get as many people as we can. And just let the, 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 the chaos, the chaos reign. Let's, uh, let's get this, please. Can't see anything. No, let me get it. Let me get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw Nick's... Uh... <laughs> Nick's cosplay of the uh, plumber with the butt crack. <laughs> I appreciate that. Did I, do I have any remote bombs left? I do not. I could also throw an ice cream in there, I think, and then it bounces around while they're getting cooked. Come on! You not gonna give me satisfaction, dude? Are you coming? You coming? You're coming. Oh, you son of a... Alright. I should not screw around with that. I should just kill. Really? You're a sack fan? I am surprised. That's another hated game of mine. Though I will say, I think I improved a lot of Insomniac's designs with uh, what I did in Sack. Presentation may not have been the best, but I think uh, I think combining weapons into gadgets was the way to go. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna hurt somebody. Get him! He shielded you, bastard! No shielding this, though. Come on. Come on. All right. There's my there's my deathless run. Death number one. 
Let's see. Let's throw this down there and get a few people while we're at it. Get Hammerhead. Hammerhead's the one you want. I should also do this. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. I need all the good stuff out of here. Can I do this without catching myself on fire is the big trick. Hmm. No, it really wants me to catch on fire for this. Bad designer. Yeah, I like that. That's the thing I never liked about Ratchet and Clank is you would get one-off gadgets. And... Some levels you'd use them, some levels you wouldn't, so I made sure that every weapon you had was use, also used as a gadget on that level. So you had less, um, less waste, less menus to go through, and it made them just feel more useful in general. You know, especially like the Tango Vine was the bomb. Like that was one of my, that was one of my best inventions ever. Because it just did so much. You can entangle people, and all the upgrades too, like everything got stronger, like the uh, the hollow knuckles, as that thing leveled up and got stronger, instead of like hitting people with vases and uh, cinder blocks, it it turned into a much bigger, uh, more impressive object that you were, you were smacking him with. I think there was a safe at one point, if I remember right. Um, hmm. Do you want this dark side? Oh! He is not taking any of my shit right now. Size Matters was the PlayStation version that we did. Insomniac didn't want to touch PlayStation with a 10 or sorry, um, PSP. Didn't want to touch PSP with a 10 foot pole because it didn't have enough um, of an audience to be worth their time. So, a bunch of ex-insomniacs along with me um, made Size Matters for PSP. It did really well. I think it sold a million units for PlayStation, which was crazy. I'm sure I could find the exact numbers, and I'm probably kind of pulling that on my ass. But for a PSP, it was well-received. And I also carried over that whole um, Secret Agent Clank gadgets are um, weapons and um, utility items over into Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontier. Where powers were also gadgets and kind of uh, abilities that got you around the environment. Oh god, that ice cream just chasing him down is so brutal. Nope, I don't want to die again. Can I kill you first? I can. Yeah, PSP had Daxter. That was the whole PlayStation trying to get the uh, the PSP portable to become a thing. I think they're competing with uh, Nintendo on, on their handhelds. Yeah. Well, much like uh, Small Brawl, Lost Frontier is starting to get love these days. <laughs> People are actually saying it's a good game now. <laughs> and I was just like, what is happening? <laughs> it's like all my shitty games are now becoming uh, popular. But yeah, there's some speedrunners who speedrun the hell out of it. You know, I want to say Sack, The Lost Frontier, and this game are probably my, my three main stinkers, but now... Now they're they're not so much stinkers anymore. Now that people are actually looking at them a little more closely. Okay, let's do this. So how the hell am I going to beat Trapper? I think the best way is just store up a bunch of specials and just rain them, rain them on him and let him bounce around when he's close to the volcano. And then that way I could probably hit him 12 times. Don't catch me on fire. Enough of that, enough of that nonsense.
Oh, you missed me with your tag, dude. <laughs> that time you didn't. Let's get out of here. Nope. Nope. Ooh, that clipped me. That hurt. That clipped me too. What am I doing? I am playing terribly. Can I do it? Can I do it? Just a little hit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> well, I'm really beat up. That, uh... Those environmentals got me pretty good. Let's see, where is a where is a health in here? Get away from me! It'd be embarrassing to die to Warthog special. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm gonna shield and get out of here. Wink. Come on, healthy up. <laughs> well, you know that answer. I'm always going to say I'm the king of these games, even though I'm terrible at them. <laughs> it's kind of fun to troll people a little bit that way. <laughs> Anything interesting about Warthog's special? Um, not really. The only interesting thing about it is a bit of the lore, where Warthog was going to be Grasshopper. Um, or we're going to have both Grasshopper and Warthog. Ran out of time, so we gave... Grasshopper's car to Warthog. Warthog's character so we could keep him. Um, and then threw together a special at the last minute. And the special is basically um, Crimson Fury's special but with more angular trajectory to make it look different. And different art. Um, and funny enough I read through my notes earlier today and found out that I was not keen on putting Crimson, Crimson Third. God, I can't speak today. Crimson Fury in the game um, because he was too close to Spectre, and we slipped him also in kind of last minute. And that's why his special is just like Spectre. So it's like Ward, Warthog, Spectre, and Crimson Fury are all basically using the same special. <laughs> this is like, well, that's what you got to do if you want to save a character. Otherwise, they're going to get cut. There was so much reuse in this game, it's ridiculous. That's why so many weapons um, bounce off the walls and then retarget. You know, Thumpers bounces off the walls like Sweet Tooths. Um, because that that was kind of the mix and match we had to do. It's like we couldn't didn't have enough time to make new specials, so just like, okay, I'll take parts of this special, I'll take parts of this special, we'll change the art, we'll put it on fire, we'll call it good at that point. <laughs> it's just like, this is, this is what we're gonna do, man. <laughs> and I could I could model new cars pretty quickly, so that wasn't the big issue. It was doing the code. Die, everybody! Nope, shield. I'd like to shield right about now. Ooh, that messed up a lot of people. It messed up me, also. Yeah, I mean. Good, good, efficient games reuse a lot of codes, um, but you don't want to reuse it exactly. You have to change visuals or tweak parameters so it feels different. Um, but I, ideally, if you have enough time, you have enough time, you can make all new stuff. But that's that's all, almost never the case. Uh, I should not be wasting these on you, dude. I am beating myself way too much for this. Nope, V8 Dave is not named after me. That was one of the owners. Um, worked with a guy at a company before then who was a total stoner hippie into alien conspiracies and made video games with him. <laughs> and he based the character off of that guy. The name was just a coincidence. 
think uh, I think it's easy to tell I am far from a, a hippie stoner who lives in a van and has alien conspiracies. Oh, I'm doing the codes too quickly. That's right. Duck Station has a delay. Die to my special. Oh, you took the ramp. That was that was smart. That was very smart of you, Shadow. Hello, Nick. I was just talking about all kinds of stuff you missed at the, the beginning of the stream. I was talking about Sweet Tooth and how his special functions. His special is more brutal than I remember. It, uh... It'll bounce off walls or cars and retarget the nearest car after that. And I'm hitting cars two or three times with the same special. It is, it is gloriously uh, brutal. And I was telling the, the people that also it, uh, it will, it was supposed to freeze people uh, when it hit them. So that was going to make that special extra nasty because it would hit them, freeze them, go bounce off of something, and then come back for them, and there was just no escape. I also went over why Crimson Fury and Spectre and Warthog Special are pretty much the same. Wow, this input delay is, is really annoying. I need health. Yeah, before I show it off, let me go get some health because this is this is not, <laughs> not going to last much longer. Come on, we can do it. This level, given all our other levels, I was so surprised we actually got in the game and working. This is one of the last levels we made, if I remember right. This may not bounce back because ramps are not Sweet Tooth's... Sweet Tooth Special's friend. If you want to avoid it, go up a ramp. Get him! Get him! That one is still chasing him down. And it killed him. <laughs> or did it? Did you live? Get him. Get him, ice cream. Get him with those delicious calories of yours. I am still too weak to fight Trapper at the moment. Yeah, the input delay is, is slower on Duck Station. I think uh, Nick pointed that out at one point. I see you guys found my Moby, Moby game. <laughs> Credits. Back in the back in my my days of long hair. I I don't want to kill you yet, Shadow. I want to I want to I want to stock up. Let me stock up here. And let me health up. All right. Any weapons that are just terrible against Trapper? I need those. I need those. Those aren't bad. Oh, I think I showed you this the other day, Nick. Um, I added we uh, weapons on radar for uh, for a whole shielding scheme that never made it in the game. I think I told you that. But it also was super handy for doing things like this. If I drop my remote bomb, I can see it flashing on my radar. And I can use it if I can't see the enemy to time it when they're right on top of it. <laughs> like that. For a guaranteed hit. Die! I also found in my old notes that remote bombs do more damage if you detonate them than if you run over them. And I believe the same is for Shadow. Nope! That's mine! That's not a pickup! I'm a fool! Get me... Yeah, how many specials do I have? Because I'm going to spam them on, on Trapper and just let him bounce around. Kill him. Kill him that way. We'll kill him with ice cream. Kill him with kindness. The kindness of ice cream. Okay. I think I am in good enough shape to tackle this guy now. Dare I waste a special on him? Where is he? He's not on radar. Radar. 
He <laughs> got crushed by the block. Mmm. That was an unsatisfying death. Hey, Trapper, where are you? I need you in tight corners here for this this special do the maximum. Actually, right about here would be perfect. Ah! Get him! Get him! Get him, my sweet ice cream! Wow, it's shredding him! Stick that on there. We'll do some of that. Run! Okay, so the AI is working. I had adaptive AI depending on how, how much of a beating the cars were taking as to whether they would run or uh, go for health. Let's do this again. I'm going to die if I don't get the hell out of here. That was nice. I froze him and did the environmental. Okay. I don't want to fight him here. Ice cream's going to take too long to kill him. Hey, bud. Damn it. No, stay there. See my ice cream tower targeting him. Get him. All right, he's playing defensively now because he's getting a, he's getting an ass whooping. This is what we call in the old TM days an ass whooping. That's a really good question. Which one has the best AI? If everything had made it in like I hoped, and this was PlayStation Two, I would like to think Small Brawl would have, because I had some very very advanced stuff that that wasn't seen in, in Twisted Metal before, at least not that I know of where every car had a different behavior based on its its health, what kind of weapons it had, uh, how damaged it was, whether it was a boss or not. So small characters like Grimm would keep their distance and shoot from afar. And if they got wounded, they would really make a run for it. Um, at 50%, they go looking for health, things like that. Whereas big cars would get in there and use more head-to-head um, -head type stuff. Like, they would ram, they would uh, stick in the battle longer, they would wait until they are 25% health before they went looking for health. Uh, would really, really like to not... So, they would have changed based on what was happening in the environment, which is something... Wow, I, I spanked him hard. Uh, I remember initial things uh interviews with jaffe a long long time about about small brawl he uh he didn't like it very much <laughs> of course he wanted me to take it over because he was so burnt out on, on twisted metal um after black so he could go work on um god of war and even said he was uh, he was glad that i was taking it over let's see um so that he could go work on something else but um, I think he also uh, lucked out by sidestepping this thing because going from black on PS2 to PS1, it would have been it would have been a rough experience for him. Would I have made more? Yes, I would have made more TMs. I wanted to make a TM for PlayStation 2. That was my that is my biggest goal in life. That and a V8, and I never got that chance. That was also part of the disappointment of this project is the fact that I was like, yes, I get to make a PlayStation 2 version. And then Sony comes along and goes, no, you, no, you don't. <laughs> you're you're going to make a PlayStation 1 version. And all that art and textures you made, yeah, you can, uh, you can knock that down. So anybody who knows anything about modeling, I was reading through my old game design document on this earlier. And our poly count was a thousand bucks, or sorry, a thousand bucks, a thousand polys on screen at any given time. So, if you know anything about games, PlayStation 2, one car is, is probably 500 polys, if I had to guess, depending on the, the type of game. And these days, you know, a hand is a thousand polys. <laughs> like, for a single character, 
Like, a character model would be just be a hand. <laughs> Yeah, I also found like the, the the texture mapping maps and how they reside in memory and stuff like that. Like, I, I got to look at my sweet tooth, and I'll probably do that as a video because obviously that's really hard to show with Maya and call it doing the poly counts and everything. But I think these cars had to be a hundred polys each, and then that was half of our budget right there. If it went over, then then obviously there was slowdown. Though I'm pretty sure that Polycount was really aggressive and we, we shouldn't have stayed within it because I guarantee Mini Golf Mayhem was more than that. And I think that's when I realized, like, oh shit, we could have done so much more. Oh, I jumped that special! Get me out of here. Uh, I am not going to live if that happens. Hmm. Can I do this without dying? Oh, get me out of there! Get me out! Get, 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 get! That was that was not the most elegant, but it worked. All right. So here's where Sweet, Sweet Tooth really shines is down here with this special. And I got five of them. This is gonna be gross. Everybody die. <laughs> I know the ice creams are coming. <laughs> Look at all those ice creams! <laughs> There's so many, one of them got stuck. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Get me out of here! <laughs> Do I have uh, an environmental? Please tell me I got an environmental. <laughs> nope, nope, get me out of here. Shit. Shield me. Ooh, that was a good shielding on my part. It was a super good shielding. Mm -hmm. These are being really aggressive. I don't think I'm gonna live here. Okay. That was better. That, that was much smoother that time. Okay. Who wants to die? Somebody wants to die. Pull him that way. Goodbye, Slam. Goodbye, Axel. No, you lived! <laughs> I'm still too beat up for this. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, Slam's over. He's so OP, the meat grinder doesn't even affect him. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I found a bunch of old level art uh, for levels that were never made and also the ones that a lot of these are based on. Um, it was concept art, not the... Uh, by, like, the artist who did all the uh, character art for this. Which I should share at some point because no one has ever, ever seen them. Oh, can I jump it? Not in time. I know. I gotta do it on YouTube. I, I'm just, I can't do it via Twitch. Twitch is, is just not conducive. Twitch is good for me getting gameplay footage, but I think that's about it. It's not good for commentary unless I'm shooting from the hip like this. Um, not good for showing shit off, like, you know, 3D models and stuff like that. Did I get an environmental? No, but I remember this works just as well. I do this and I do that. Did it buy, did it knock him in? <laughs> did not knock him in. Hey Slam, you gonna make a run for it, buddy? Oh, you got the health, dude. You're trying to freeze me? No, you're insane. This would be a great place actually for the special. If I could hit with it. Let's get out of here. This is a good time for this. Anybody gonna fall for that? Nope. Fortunately not. 
Alright, slam. This will get you eventually. <laughs> I see the ice cream. Now with Duck Station, I can finally see the ice cream bouncing around all the way across level. special yet. Wait, did Slam die? Where is he? Another thing I found about this game that I had was uh, I was going to have directional arrows either on the edges of the screen right, left, or back showing where everybody was instead of having to look at the radar. Because I felt like it would have been a little more uh, um, immersive than always having to look up at the radar constantly. It might have worked, it might not have. Come on, get him! Yeah, that would have been a cool excessive, excessive, <laughs> accessibility feature. <laughs> you do not. You do not get to use your special on me. What's next? Sweet Tooth is dominating, man. Here's where he's not as good. The open field, there's not enough stuff for his special to bounce around, so you you're, you might get one hit before it times out. Unless I can get someone in a corner. Yeah, Ruggery, so I can actually... I've mentioned that in a couple streams before, but the thing about Axel's special is I wanted to try something different, him being a smaller character, and I always felt like he had to close the distance and try to use his shockwave that way, but it made him too vulnerable. So I decided to give him a secondary skill shot. Uh, so what he does is, if you tag him, then he has, or sorry, if you tag an enemy with a special, then he's got long distance range, and all his attack goes at that one enemy. But if he misses, or if you want to miss, then he drops uh, the, the missiles in a shockwave pattern around him. The unfortunate part is, because we couldn't get that many particles around him, we could only do like eight missiles around him, but I wanted like 16 missiles or more raining around him in a circle to create kind of a shockwave pattern. So even though it looked different, you could do the same shockwave um, pattern that Axel always had, but go to the skill shot if you wanted to um, have range. And that was, that was the whole thing behind him. And it was just purely PlayStation limitations that kept us from getting a really good 360 um, attack around him, like a shockwave. And each of those little missiles is supposed to do a, a small shockwave around him. So it would have been crazy. I generally make very crazy specials that are, that are fun and satisfying, if, if I can actually pull it off on the system. Whoa, you really pushed me back, dude. You know what would be great here? Well, it would have been a special. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. And then there's the AI fighting each other over there. <laughs> the tsunami is the nod from Twisted Metal. Or not Twisted Metal, the Vigilante 8 second defense character. I need the good stuff here. Whoa, that was super close. No lawnmower man, don't attack your master. Don't attack your creator. Let's get this. Ah, who wants a power missile? Spectre? Spectre wants a power missile. Good job, man. Thank you for not letting me waste that. Is that going to hit anybody? No. 
Stay right there, Spectre. Stay there! <laughs> I couldn't even see him and he got him. That was great. That was a great shot! Oh! I should have dodged that. That was foolish of me. Get over here. I need you close to the wall if I want to maximize this. You! You may have all my ice cream, dude. It's not gonna get him. Damn, fire missiles. You homing like, uh, homing missiles. Oh. Another thing I found out in my design notes is I wanted to up the ability to upgrade the machine guns. <laughs> so if you, it looks like I had a couple ideas. One was that if you found a power up, your machine guns would upgrade for that level, and you could hold them down and charge them up for an insane Gatling gun kind of feature. <laughs> Did I ever see the lost endings for TM1? I did not. Or I did, I just forgot. I don't know. Oh, come on. Die. I must die. I remember... Th I remember... The first TMs, one and two, being pretty cheesy. Cheesy in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Entertaining cheesy. That is that is the right lens to look through it there. Uh, I know I picked up a... It's not going to get a... Get Twister in time. Get him. It's just too far for the ice cream to be effective in this level. I could ram you. Oh, yeah. I do remember those then, yes. I... Well, you know, it's the way to, to win over a girl is put her in a movie. <laughs> That's, that's just going to straight up kill. Nope! No! Alright, I got to do it this way. Where are you, Twister? You know, any other level I could sit back and let the ice cream kill, it, kill Twister. Not going to happen here. <laughs> the comedy gold is, is right. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby! Good of you to make it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Twister. I don't think I can give you a warrior's death in this level. Squirrely! You're squirrely! You're gonna get a machine gun death or a ramming here in a second. Am I gonna have to go get a weapon just to kill you? I think I am. It is all right. You made it in time. Do I have a spe Do I have anything to shoot at this? Come on. How about I try to simulate a a field goal and try to hit the Twister with a missile all the way across the level? <laughs> hmm. 
That almost looked like it hit. Get him. Get him, ice cream. Yeah. Woo. Squirrely. These cars are squirrely. Sure, I'll save. I'll save on this playthrough. Also, I have to give Nick a shout out for helping me find a good tutorial that showed me how to put Duck Station and get that up and working with the right BIOS because, man, this thing looks so good now. It, I always, I always say this with a tear in my eye. This looks like how I wanted Small Bra to look. Oh, here's the other level that sucks for Sweet Tooth Special. Unless you use it in the room. 14th through the... Okay. I will log your... your <laughs> I'll log your vacation time, Ruby, in my imaginary vacation time tracker <laughs> for people who work for me for free. <laughs> oh, Damn. Swisher's coming in strong. Ah, all right. Honestly. This is the one ramp Sweet Tooth Special can handle. I should have done it in here because it's extra deadly. Ah, give me that. Here's an environmental I wish I could have fixed. These were supposed to actually fire up and just go everywhere and strike cars all over the place. I don't know why we ended up with just hitting the bridge. Hello, Slam. Is anybody over at the bridge? No. Yeah. Look at that ice cream go! Get out of here! It's getting hot! Oh, that sounds cool! Get away for a little bit! Me at it. Ooh. Why does that look like that was gonna hit me? Let's get this going. Go get him, boy. Mm, this is not gonna angle down. Come on, come get it. Ooh. That was that was very nice. Ah! Holy cow, he is he's is eating me up. All right, let's get out of here. Is he on the bridge? No! Hmm. I wonder if this will work here if it's duck station. Still doesn't trigger it. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, there was supposed to be a trap setup like the uh, Easy Death Oven, but it didn't get in. Ah, no, get me out of here. So here's here's the room where the ice cream is very powerful because it will it'll also hit the lever. Who wants it? Anybody gonna fall for my trap? Anybody? Any anybody? Get slam! Nope, nope, nope! You 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 <laughs> Oh my god! 
<laughs> that was the closest ever. <laughs> I was so lucky. I was so lucky. I was gonna say blueberry strawberry, but. <laughs> oh! I thought we were talking about Sweet Tooth's uh, flavor of his uh, his little ice cream he slides around. Oop, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, people's favorites? Classic chocolate chip. Well, I like the flaky chocolate chip, not the uh, not the chocolate chip chocolate chips. What? No! Not twice! Mullet flavored. What the hell, man? No people flavored? I think that's the right answer for Sweet Tooth Special. It is people flavored. Soylent Green. You, you may stay away from me. You wanna, you wanna go toe to toe here? We can do this. We can so do this. Thank you for <laughs> killing him for me. Oh, that was so good. It's like I planned it. Oh, let me get out of here. So I think green? Yeah, that was a movie. That was a movie where <laughs> in the future people were the food source, but nobody knew it. Until someone figured it out and he's running through the streets saying, It's made of people! Mm, get me out of here. You may chew up Crimson Fury. Mm. Alright. Did I get a... I should have used that! That was a waste! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm safe. I'm safe from all damage here. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I do remember it's not free ruby, but if we all have it, I will set up a game night one day. We can all play Mario Kart. We can do an on-stream Mario Kart. See who see who's the dominant Mario Karter. That was a weird noise. I already saved. It's fine. Alright, here we go. It's where the rubber meets the road here. Can Sweet Tooth handle uh handle Mr. Piecemeal? Oh, I found the origins of piecemeal the other day, too. In order to find cars, this is like a super early idea, you were gonna find pieces of them. And so if you like wanted dark side, you would find like the wheels or the cab or the end part. And you'd have to find them dispersed throughout all the levels and then you would put them together and make the car kind of like uh, piecemeal style is what I wrote and then I, that's what gave me the idea for piecemeal in the end uh, as a boss when we couldn't use minion yeah bosses of V8 would be great I would have loved that again we were five person team let's drop that look at my radar Anybody going for it? Yep. Did it not hit? Boo. All right. Hmm. 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 
Oh, Grim, you stand no chance against me. Did I not trigger that? I guess I didn't trigger it. Ooh, that didn't go well. Alright. Damn, Crimson. Alright. Alright, man. Will that make the popcorn go? It will! Just in case. Yeah, the dead had impact. Oh shit! Get him, ice cream. Get him with your deliciousness. Come on. Ah! I almost ate that. <laughs> you hit yourself with your own bomb. And I thought I was the clown. That was not a great shot. I have no weapons. This is not a good time for piecemeal to be approaching. Give me weapons. One thing that was cut in this level, he's going around picking up my power-ups. That sucks. But one thing that was cut in this level was we were going to have uh, soda spilled all over the floor in certain areas. So if you drove across it, you would either get stuck for a second or it would slow you down. And that would have been pretty terrifying with piecemeal chasing you. Of course you shielded. Nope. Nope. Get off of me. You're not doing as well here, peace or sweet tooth. Come on, sweet. You can do it, sweet tooth. Make daddy proud. Get him. Am I even hitting him? No. Over here, buddy. I want you right against that wall when I do this. Come on. Well, I guess you're not going to listen. This is a hard... Ah... That, I always thought was very cool too. So, this was one of those weird things where I thought doing something like that was super hard. I originally just wanted like a three, two, one countdown, kind of like we did in V8 for our, our outdoor movie. And um, we couldn't fit the texture space in there. Like there just wasn't enough. And one of the programmers said they could show the gameplay up there. And I was like, what? And I was like, I thought that would be way more intensive on the PlayStation 1, but apparently the way they did it, it wasn't. So this was our concession right here, was to kind of put an old, old time movie streaks on it and show the gameplay there. It's just, uh, it's, I think it's just another camera. And it only has any kind of hit on performance if you're looking at it. Of course, today it doesn't at all. Like this, I'm playing on a very powerful PC. But it's one of those things where you're always surprised by the programmer saying something is easy to do. Um, and the stuff you think is easy turns out to be hard to do. <laughs> it's, it's the way it's always been. Yeah, alright. 
You got a little chunk of you there. But how he actually did it, I don't know. Because I am not a programmer. But I wanted something on the screen. Like, and that was a that was pretty cool. Programmer knows. Get off of me. I shielded at the right time. Yeah. These used to kick out weapons and power-ups, but uh, players could load up too easily. I think that was Sony's request not to have them throw weapons and power-ups out. Wow, you were just hanging out there, Grim. Why are you just hanging out there? I should save this. I should save those. And I'm sure as you guys know, like all ricochets, they do more damage after they bounce. Nope, I don't want to waste that. Yes, it's good to know how all the pieces work. Um, as far as being a designer. Hey, at least I can do modeling and art. You are in the right spot. Oh, fuck, he is against the wall. You were in the right spot for that to be super effective. Come here. Actually, right there. If you go down here, I'll take that too. You gonna go down there? You gonna sneak up behind me? You sneak up behind me! And shield. You are a jerk. You're a jerk, dude. All right. Actually, here would be great for the special too. Get that maximum bounce. Ah. Stay right there. That's exactly where I want you. Stay right there. <laughs> I am the father of this version of Sweet Tooth. And piecemeal. Get me out of here. Wasn't there a health up there? Did I get that? Where are you, man? Where are you? Got something for you. It's big and it's blue. He's gonna eat me alive again! God, his ram damage is so crazy! Get away! Bah! Game over! I lost a piecemeal! No! No! What the heck, man? Yes. Yes, I want to restart. Integer overflow. I don't know. I do remember some fun old bugs that we used to run into on the PlayStation 1 days. Where if you didn't put in code to kill um, weapons that flew like flew off into the distance, the game would eventually overload because you have a million bullets flying out into space that aren't terminating themselves. And it just increases the particle and poly count over time. And of course you don't see them because they're flying off into space or the horizon. So a smart programmer in those days would put in a kill code that says, this projectile will die after, I don't know, a minute or something, or if it leaves these boundaries. Uh, what 
is gonna help me here. Two of these. I don't know why you're just sitting there, man. Am I out of range? Somebody was commenting on the disc or one of the YouTube videos about why do they sit there. I know why they sit there when they're shooting at you, but he was just hanging out. <laughs> you can see them flying up, trying to form piecemeal. Hey, man. That mine. Oof. Get me out of here. Well, you're in the place to be, dude, so let's get you. That one hit him at least twice. Oh, gosh! <laughs> I forgot he could do that. I knew he could do that, but I forgot about that. He almost never uses that. Let's give him a little mine. I can see all the missiles coming in on the radar. <laughs> Shit. No, I can see my death. Ah! Crap. Uh, get me out of here. I gotta say, Sweet Tooth is having a hard time beating piecemeal. Give me this. I don't want to get the help just yet. Hey, man. We'll take that one. What are you doing, piecemeal? Buddy. I don't know what you're doing, man. Get um at least it does decent damage. <laughs> My internet is ready, yes. What? That's a lot of games, man. You do know I have a life, right? <laughs> what are you doing? If I was a smart player, I would soften all these characters up first before killing one of them. Get him. Get him. No! Where did my freeze go? What the hell was that? Dude! That was just dumb. GoldenEye is a great game. Not gonna lie. You do know I have to make YouTube videos, right? Right, Ruby? <laughs> I'm already seeing a crazy amount of views on my YouTube videos. And by that, I mean for, for my channel. My Hammerhead Small Brawl is up to like 150 now views. I was just like, what?
I can shield too. Out of here. Hmm. Where's piecemeal? Why is he not on my radar? There he is. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna dodge that, I hope. Took my took my weapon. Get <laughs> me out of here. Conquer's bad for a day I wanna play. I do wanna do that one day. Ooh, that was that was a janky ass collision thing. That was a very well-timed shield. <laughs> Crap! Crap! Get me out of here. All right, I can do this. I trust you, Sweet Tooth. I know you've never let me down before. I can do this. Hmm. <laughs> I think I mentioned this before. The reason Sweet Tooth can't use his special, or Peacemeal can't use his special, um, is because I for forgot to put in the line of code that allows piecemeal to use Sweet Tooth Special in this game. <laughs> Could you imagine if he had that special? It would have been brutal. Oh, you are untouched, my friend. You need to, you need to soften you up a tad bit. Come on, Slam. Mm, I need more weapons. I wonder why we have so few weapons in this. This is not fun looking for shit. What, people slipping, a dev slipping in stuff at the last minute? Yeah, that just, that doesn't happen. <laughs> Hurry, man. Die. Oh! Oh! Come on, man! Cooperate! I'm a little beat up. Yeah, back when devs, back in the day when devs would slip stuff into games without the publisher knowing, we called them, uh, or the publisher, uh, we called them Easter eggs. But, then we started abusing it now and then. Oof. Nope. Wait, why did that not freeze you? Good night, Liz. Thanks for dropping by as usual. I appreciate the support. Also, why is our... Why do we go the opposite direction when reversing in this game? That has got to be a bug. That's really weird. Let's go. 
Let's him go. What are you doing, Slam? I'm gonna give you this. It's one for you too. What is he looking? He's looking for something. Don't you take my power missiles! Dare I try the hardest trick of all and use the, the fire to get fire extinguisher? <laughs> Environmental. It is just the worst. <laughs> I wonder if I have the old disc, uh, beta disc, that has all six of the uh, fire extinguishers in this level. Because that would be funny to show off. Like six of them going at once. Ooh! Damn! Oh, I'm laughing to death. Yes, I put an environmental in here designed to destroy piecemeal of all things. That fire extinguisher, if you hit it and launch it, it'll go after them and it beats them up pretty good. And there used to be six of them, one near each of the doors in here. And if you manage to get a bunch of them going at once, it crashed the game. And that's why... And they're super hard to hit. That's, that's why we had to take them out. I think that's a hit, maybe? Nope, went over. That's a hit. There we go, see? Get him! And it just wrecks piecemeal. Or it used to. <laughs> it's just zipping around back there. Oh god, here it comes! Got him! That was a nice death. That was pretty good. That fire extinguisher makes it a lot easier, for sure. It'll chase them down. Oh man, you could have anything you wanted. And all you can think of is a little ice cream? One of my contributions to this game's endings is having, is having him hang, hanging. He's hanging via wedgie style from the front of his bumper as he drives down through the neighborhoods with the police uh, chasing him. <laughs> I always thought the funny part is just, he's getting a massive wedgie as he's doing it. <laughs> Cheesy good. Yeah, we couldn't make the endings as dark as, as a lot of the other Twisted Metals for this one because it was kids. I mean, and technically we did kind of kill Grimm in this one. 